Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here for our second video in our series about solving exponential equations. We're just here solving some basic equations, but not where the bases match on either side. So my first example here, I have 5 to the x equals 30. 30 is not a power of 5 that I can just look in this and decide. So to solve 5 to the x equals 30, we'll need to undo this operation that's happening to x. And what's happening to x is the operation 5 to the power of x. The opposite operation of an exponential base 5 would be a logarithm base 5. So what we'll need to do to both sides is take a log base 5 and that will undo the 5 exponential. Log base 5 and 5 exponentials are inverses of one another. So we will get x equals log base 5 of 30. Now, we could go ahead and answer that. That would be a fine answer. That's an exact answer. We could also, if we were looking for a decimal approximation, maybe type this in the calculator, get some decimal approximation. Now, to do that, you might not have a log base 5 button on your calculator. Remember, we can always use change of base formula. So I can go ahead and change this to any log that I want, any base. I'll go ahead and change this to natural log, let's say. So this is the same as natural log of 30 over natural log of 5. And if we wanted a decimal approximation for this one, then we could type that in the calculator using our LN button, and we would get that the answer is approximately 2.113 if we round to three places. Let's look at another one very similar here. We have 3 to the power x is 100, so we need to undo the operation 3 to the power of something, and we do that using a logarithm. That's log base 3 is the opposite operation of 3 to the power of something. So if we take log base 3 of both sides, log base 3 and 3 to the power of something, those are inverse operations. So here we get x equals log base 3 of 100. Be careful, it's not base 10, so we can't say this is 10 squared and the answer is 2. We can go ahead and just stop here. This is the exact answer. Log base 3 of 100 is exact, but if we wanted a decimal approximation, then we could use change of base and we could say, well, that's ln of 100 over ln of 3. And if we type that in the calculator and round to three places, we'll get our answer is about 4.192 for this one. Looking at another, 10 to the x equals 4. So if I want to undo the operation exponential base 10, then I could take a logarithm base 10. Remember, that's just log. Log is the same as log base 10. Log base 10 and exponential base 10 are inverse operations. They reduce one another. And here we just get that x is equal to log of 4. That's really a log base 10. Now, if you have any scientific calculator, it probably just has a log base 10 button, just a log button. So you could go ahead and type that in the calculator also if you needed a decimal for that. You wouldn't need to do change of base here since we already have base 10. And you should get an answer that's approximately 0 0.602 for an answer. Looking at our next example, e to the x equals 12. So I have an exponential base e, that is the operation happening to x. I want to get rid of that using a logarithm base e. So if I take the natural log of both sides, then that will give me ln of e to the x equals ln of 12. Now log base e and exponential base e are inverse operations. They get rid of one another. So x equals here just ln of 12 x equals ln12 is the exact answer. Now if we want a decimal approximation, we could type this in the calculator. We do probably have an ln button on our scientific and graphing calculator, so we wouldn't need to change the base here. So if you just type in ln of 12, you will get an answer that is approximately 2.485. Okay, looking at another one, we have some more operations here. We have 2 to the x minus 6 equals 55. Our x is in this term 2 to the x, so we want to get that term by itself first. So I would first add 6 to both sides. So I would end up with just a 2 to the x on the left side, and I would end up with 61 on the right side. Now I need to undo my operation exponential base 2. That would be using a log base 2. Log base 2 and exponential base 2 are opposite operations. They eliminate one another, so log base 2 and 2 exponential will reduce on that side, and we'll get that x is equal to log base 2 of 61, and that is our answer here. If we wanted a decimal approximation, of course we could do change of base and say that this is natural log of 61 over the natural log of 2, 
and if we type that into the calculator, we will get approximately 5.931. Let's look at another one with an additional step, but a bit different here. We have 3 to the x plus 4, so x plus 4 is all in the exponent now, equals 40. So what I want to do is work from the outside in when I have sort of multiple layers of things being done to x here. So really the plus 4 is the most inside operation we have. So let's get rid of this outside operation. This operation is base 3 exponential. How do I get rid of a base 3 exponential with a log base 3? They're inverse operations. They will reduce one another. So log base 3 and base 3 exponential reduce. And we get x plus 4 is equal to log base 3 of 40. Now, to solve for x, the last thing we'll need to do is subtract 4. Now, be careful here. We don't want to say that I take the 40 and subtract 4. This 40 is inside of the logarithm. This is log base 3 of 40, not just the number 40. So this cannot be included inside of the logarithm. It needs to stay outside of the logarithm. So when we rewrite this, we'll say that x is equal to log base 3 of 40, and I'm going to put that in parentheses, and then I'm going to say minus 4 afterward. Okay. The idea is when we took the logarithm, what was on this side when we took the logarithm base 3 of this side, only 40 was on that side when we took log base 3 of both sides. So we keep just 40 inside of the logarithm. So this would be our answer x is equal to log base 3 of 40 minus 4. If we wanted a decimal approximation of this, then we could certainly plug in the calculator using change of base. So I could say x is equal to ln of 40 over ln of 3, but then I would also have to subtract 4 off of that, right? So if we go ahead and type that in the calculator, you will get a decimal approximation that is about 0 0.642, and it will be negative. Looking at this next one here, 6 to the x minus 3 plus 2 equals 10. We have few things going on happening to x, so we'll need to get this term by itself working from the outside in. This is not even part of the term, so let's get rid of this extra term that we don't want on the left side. So we would get 6 to the x minus 3 is equal to 10 minus 2 would be 8. The next layer from the outside in is this base 6 exponential. So I need to get rid of an exponential operation, base 6. I do that with its opposite operation, log base 6. So I take log 6 of both sides. Log base 6 and exponential base 6 will reduce one another. We'll get x minus 3 is equal to log base 6 of 8. Now when you get to this step, what you might do in this step where you took log base 6 of both sides and you're going to be moving stuff perhaps over to be with your log 6 of 8, maybe you draw your parentheses right here, right now, so that you don't accidentally put anything inside of the log with the 8 that's not supposed to be there. So if we go ahead and add 3 now to both sides, those parentheses are telling me I shouldn't really add that 3 inside of the log because what was on that right side when I took log base 6 was only 8. So we keep that separate log base 6 of 8 and we say plus 3 and that is our answer for this one. If we want a decimal approximation, of course, we could go ahead and use change of base, and we could say that x is equal to the natural log of 8 over the natural log of 6, and then we could add 3 separate once we do that, ln of 8 over ln of 6. If we do that in the calculator, we should get a decimal approximation of about 4.161. Looking at another one here, I have a multiply on the outside, 3 times 8 to the x equals 15. So notice that the exponent of x is only applying to the 8, the times 3 is separate. So if I look at how to get rid of the most outside idea, my most outside idea is times 3, it's not in this little expression 8 to the x. So I need to do the opposite of times 3, which is divide by 3. So if we do that, I will get 8 to the x is 15 divided by 3. Well, we can just write 5 for that, I think, right? 15 divided by 3. So now I have 8 to the x is 5. The only thing left to do is get rid of the exponential operation base 8. Opposite of an exponential base 8 is a log base 8. So we take log base 8 of both sides. Log base 8 and exponential base 8 will get rid of one another. They're inverse operations. And so we get that x is equal to log base 8 of 5. 
and we can go ahead and say that's our answer or if we need a decimal approximation we can do change of base and say x is equal to the natural log of 5 over the natural log of 8. If we type that in the calculator to get a decimal approximation we get that x is about 0.774. Let's look at our last one here. This is our oddball problem. Saved it for the very end. 2 to the x plus 9 equals 6. Obviously the plus 9 is not part of this term, so that is the outermost idea on the left. Let's get rid of that. So we would subtract 9 from both sides. That would give us 2 to the x equals negative 3. Now you might look at this and already know where this is heading, and if you do, that's great. Skip to the end and tell us what the answer is. But if you don't, then look at 2 to the x equals negative 3. What's being done to x is an exponential base 2. How do I get rid of exponential base 2? I do the inverse operation, log base 2. I'll do that to both sides. Log base 2 gets rid of exponential base 2. So we're left with x equals log base 2 of negative 3. Now what we don't want to do is say that that's our answer because remember we cannot take a logarithm of a negative number. This is not possible. So there's actually no real solution for this problem. If you thought about back up here where we had the exponential statement 2 to the x equals negative 3, there's no way to take a power of 2 and get a negative number. Remember that even negative powers, when we have a base of 2, are still just going to give us fractions and not negative numbers, so there's no real solution. If you tried to do change of base with this and type this in the calculator anyway, and you said x equals the natural log of negative 3 divided by the natural log of 2, again, you're still having a log of a negative number, which we cannot have. That is undefined. If you type that into the calculator, it's going to call shenanigans on your logarithm of negative 3. So our answer is really no real solution for this one. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully this helps you with your exponential equations and solving these equations. Good luck. We'll see you in the next video.